everyone this is Rick Baxter with cost control software so glad you're here and learning a little bit more about the new NAV 2013 in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, chart generator functionality and I've got about four good examples to show you and if you just kind of do what I'm doing uh, and pause between each example and then do what you just see me do I think you'll uh, start to catch on very quickly to uh, how this thing works. You'll notice here on the screen that I've got a sample of a pie chart. I've got a sample of a, a 3D view which you can rotate around. That's kind of cool. I've got some uh, just some very common uh, columnar kind of uh, uh, charts as well. And we're going to create a couple of our own and replace some of these as we go along. So let's get started. Um, we're going to go with example number one, and it's going to be just how to do counts, various counts of uh, information within the system. So first thing is to create a new chart. Now to get to the chart creation tool, that's under departments. You just go departments under application setup. And then you go to Role Tailored Client, and then Charts. It's right there. All right, so here's a list of the current charts that uh, come as samples with the system, but we're going to create a brand new one. One thing I will point out, however, is the um, these charts tend to have, see these numbers, T36, T38, T, those numbers there, those are typically the tables. So these are table type reports. Okay, there's also query re query reports here, and I'm going to show you those in one of the more advanced uh, sessions. But uh, for right now, we're going to just do a very simple um, table type report. In fact, I'm going to do a basically a count of purchase orders by location. So we just get a simple count of open POs by location. And I think I'll just stick it right in here. Table th it's table 38, and it's going to be number nine. So let's create the new one. So it's just type new, and it's so we're going to stick with their numbering, table 38-09, and we'll call it a PO by location. There we go, PO by location, and then the source. You fill in the source. So it's either table or query. I'm going to do query a little bit later on. So first it's by table and then you select which table. We're just going to use 38, which is the purchase header table. Now I'm only interested in purchase orders, so I want to filter this a little bit. So the first filter that you're going to learn about here is to add this uh, ability to kind of limit what is displayed. And we just want where the document type is order, right? Okay, we don't want uh, purchase credit memos and we don't want purchase quotes. We just want a count of purchase orders. So we're filtering and applying a filter basically on the fly here. Now you have the measures that are the Y axis and dimensions that are the X axis. And I tend to just personally, I like to start with the X axis first. Kind of makes me think in terms of what's going across the bottom of the report. Well, this is PO by location, so we really want locations across the bottom. So I just do a lookup, and then I just need to find location. I can scroll down, there it was, or you can use the filter to find it that way as well. So there it is by location. It even puts in for you the X axis caption, but you can edit this to something else if you want to. Okay, then as far as what goes in the y-axis, that's up and down on the chart, well, that's uh, for this one, we're just doing a count. So we're really not going to be bringing in a field. We're going to be just getting a count. So we just simply select count, and we can just leave this as a columnar kind of report. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can kind of come down and see a little preview of what it's going to look like down here, but uh, that you don't really change anything there, just a generic kind of preview. So you can see that it's a columnar kind of report. So uh, remember the number. So this is a T3809. So I'm going to say OK. 
it saves it and it should now be on the list let me press F5 to refresh so there it is PO by location and now all I need to do is basically add that to my um, my home page here uh, the role center and I think what I'll do is I'm just going to rather than adding a new one I could go in and do a uh, customize the um, this page but I've got so many charts on here already I'm just going to come into the actions and customize this one and select a different a uh, different chart it's a quicker kind of way to just test your workout as you're going and the one we wanted is the one we just created this PO by location we say OK and boom there it is so we have some in blank we've got 14 in the blank location we've got uh, three POs for the green location and we've got four for the white location now that may not be the fanciest you know chart in the whole world and may not apply to your business but it does give you a start okay and I'm gonna encourage you to stop uh, the video at this stage and go and do exactly what I just showed you uh, to be sure that you can generate that same chart on your screen and then we'll move to exercise or example not exercise but <laughs> example number two thank you Alright, this is example number two and it's going to be the sum of some of values off of a master file. I want to show you how you can add up very easily summation of some values. So, uh, the, and the example I'm going to use here is, I'm just going to show you real quick, is on the customer card. So on every customer, let's go to Deerfield, okay, so every customer has a field called credit limit and you literally add that right here on the card so if their credit limit is let's say it's ten thousand dollars so I put in ten thousand and I've established the credit limit for this particular uh, customer okay and you can see what their balance is here as well so that credit limits what I would refer to as a hard number it's not a flow field whereas the balance here is a flow field and we treat that one and do that a little differently I'll show you that in one of the later exercises but to begin with let's just get this credit limit to uh, be able to give us a total on the uh, on the uh, those customers and we're going to do it by by posting group so I want to sort these by the um, whether it's domestic or uh, the different types of uh, EU and foreign okay so that's the plan let's go and create the chart so I'm going to go back to departments and I'm uh, still on the uh, chart generator, so I'm going to create a new one. Now the customer table, do you remember? In fact, I've got to look. <coughs> customer table, so I'm going into the development side. I want to be sure I get the right numbers here. This is table 18, so that we're going to create a, a chart for table 18. In fact, there's probably is some already some 18s, probably a bunch of them. You know, all the way up to 12 so I'm gonna create number 13 lucky 13 here for this chart we're gonna create a new one t13 18-13 t gosh you can't type here today t18-13 that's what we want and this is going to be uh, some credit limits uh, by posting group credit by I'll just call it PG for posting group. Okay, so the table, the source is going to be a table, and it's table 18. And do I need any filters on that? In this case, I really don't. I want all, all customers. So uh, I'm going to leave that uh, out, at least to begin with. And on the x-axis, again, I always start with the x-axis. So I like to think in terms of the posting group. So we just need to find posting group here, customer posting group, right there. And then what do we want here? We want the field, now it's a field, okay, which is credit limit, okay? And it's, the, it's a hard number, so that should be fine. We just need to sum it up 
and that should be all we need to do so let's see how it looks and I'll say um, we'll save that one 18-13 if I can remember that number 1813 we'll go back to our home page and we will uh, right here on the roll centers where I want to go and I'll just replace this one it's the quickest way to do it with T13 1813 so come down here to 1813 credit by uh, posting group so we just say OK and there we go so basically it has added the credit limit so we have basically have about six hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, credit available in the domestic uh, posting group we've got about one hundred nineteen thousand in the uh, uh, EU and then in foreign hardly anything fourteen hundred dollars so it basically gives us now totals of an amount okay versus account okay very big difference here so now we're getting dollar amounts instead of uh, counts of columns okay so there is a big difference between these two but the approach is very very similar in the way you put these two together okay so that's example number two showing you how to do a very simple summation and let's move on to example number three